Welcome to this Excel shortcuts video. This will be all about the Alt key. So all the shortcuts using the Alt key. There will be five shortcuts in total and a bonus one, which will not be in Excel. Oh my God. And the video will be divided into sections and you can just, you know, jump to a part uh, you're interested in by clicking the link below in the description. And without further ado, let's head on to the first one. So the first one is probably what you want to do most of the time when you're in Excel. You want to sum up certain cells, certain rows, certain columns. And the way you would usually do that is by using the auto sum or some other, you know, you can also go insert and, you know, go to the sum. Uh, but what we would like to do is do that with a shortcut. And the shortcut is Alt and the equal sign. So what you do is you select your data. And if I just left it as is, I could press the Alt and the equal sign and I would get a sum, but only for the columns. Now in this particular case, I want to sum up the rows and columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift right arrow and shift down arrow just to select the cells where I want the sum to appear. And after I got the selection down, it's all about Alt and the equal sign. So I press Alt and the equal sign, and there it is. Now there's just one thing that should be pointed out here, and that is, this is the sum function, right? So what I got now is the sum function. Would this work in a table? Now, if you're an Excel professional, of course you're using tables. Now. Here's a table, so let's check it out. And if I just go down here, where usually, you know, if this is a table, this would be my total row, but there is no total row in this table. It's not turned on. Just to show you that if I go down here and press Alt and the equal sign, I not only get the sum, I actually don't get the function sum, I get the function subtotal, which you should immediately say, oh, what it did is it turned on the, and you can just look at it here. So the total row is now turned on in this table and I have the function sum selected, right? So it's, it's summed up values in this table. Okay, sell shortcuts using the Alt key part this is a very interesting one. So what we want to do is we have our table from before and we would like to take all of this, the entire range, and somehow place it in our table. Now there's a few things that are, you know, kind of a miss here. The first thing is, well, we have the total row, so we would need to kind of insert all of those rows between the last row and the total row. And the, the table is on its own sheet. So how are we going to make this happen? It turns out you can easily drag and drop things, right, in, in Excel. And what you're doing is cut and paste. Well, if you hold the control key, and this one I'm sure you know, this turns into a copy and paste, which is okay. Now I'm copying this, but I can't go to the table sheet do you see i can't select it well not until i'm holding down the alt key now pressing the alt key enables me to select a different sheet now as soon as i i am on the different sheet i can release the alt key so the alt key while dragging just enables me to go to a different sheet so once i'm here now i need to place these cells between the last row in the table and the total row and you can see that it's not letting me do that well that is until i press the shift key and i'm still holding down the control key mind you now the reason i'm holding the control key is so the copy of those cells will be inserted here and the shift key enables me to kind of insert it in between two rows so let me see how that works there it is right 
So we just inserted this data into this cell. You can see that the total sum is now double because it's the same data just put in again. All right, this next one is got to be one of my favorite shortcuts in Excel. It's Alt and F1. And what it does is it creates a chart for you. So we have a table here. We don't even need to select anything because it's a table. We just select a single cell, Alt F1, and there it is. Now, mind you, what Alt F1 does is it inserts a default chart so whichever one you have as default now i do have this one as default but if i had chart like this as default right if this was my default chart then alt f1 would produce a chart looking like this just brilliant next up it's the alt and semicolon shortcut now, I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to guess you've never used this one before, but it's brilliant. So let's do this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the filters on these two columns. That was Control Shift and L for you. And what I'm going to do is just say filter the first column. I'm going to filter it where I'm just going to get values between and let's say between 400 and 700 let's just do this okay so now i have this particular rows and what i would want to do is to copy just these rows to another sheet now the problem is if i select it as so good question would be what is selected right now so the selection if you look at it it looks like a single rectangle right but what I would want to do is I would want to know that I only have these divisible cells or divisible rows selected. And there's a way to do that with the F5 or the go to command and special. And what you would say is visible cells only. If you press OK on that, you see how your selection changes. It's now just these individual rows. But there's a shortcut for that. And the shortcut is... If I just select them again, I just go Alt, semicolon, and there it is, All right? So Alt and semicolon is a shortcut to select visible cells only. This last one, well, the last one in Excel, is gonna come useful when you've lost your mouse. Either lost it or the battery ran out or whatever. So let's, let's try and do this. You see how the, the top one row is always at the top. It's not moving with the rest. So that's freezing panes, right? Now let's say I want to unfreeze those panes, but the mouse is dead. So how do I get to it? So the first thing I need to do is get to the view tab. So how you do that is by pressing the Alt key, you can see that I now get all this navigation just straight up superimposed on my Excel user interface. And I can see that if I want to activate the View tab, what I need to press is W. So I press it and there it is. And now within the View tab, it says, well, the freeze panes can be accessed by pressing the F key. And now once I'm in here, if I press F, it will unfreeze panes. And there it is, right? And now it's no longer freezed. So I'm calling this Alt Mouseless Navigation. What it really is, is it lets you navigate through the tabs and the commands of the Excel user interface without using a mouse by using just your keyboard. Okay, so the last shortcut will be in Word, and it's so brilliant. This coincides very with my workflow. So my workflow when I'm writing stuff is, as long as you know you got that 
flow going, you just write, 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 write. But when that stops and you know you hit a block, what I'll do is I'll go through everything I've wrote and I'll try to sort it out. So I'll say, you know, I'll mix up a few sentences and then I'll mix up a few paragraphs. And that's what this is about. So if I have something like this, and let's say this one will actually be here, right? So what I would want to do is switch these two paragraphs places. So I would like this one to be on top and this one to come in second. And all I need to do is just to place myself anywhere within the paragraph. But if I was just going paragraph, but then the title is also a paragraph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the paragraph and the title, and then I'll go Alt, Shift, and Arrow up. And that's all it takes. So the title and the paragraph both switch places with the paragraph above it, which is now below. And you can do the same thing, Alt, Shift, Down Arrow, even like so, and Up Arrow. Do you see the brilliance? I use this all the time, and you can even use this within a sorted list. So if, let's say you listen to While My Guitar Gently Weeps, or Here Comes the Sun Today, and you figure George would deserve to be on top today, you just go Alt, Shift, Up Arrow, Up Arrow, and there he is. And you could even take him further than that, right? Uh, it really is a brilliant Alt shortcut in Word. Okay. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.